I'm just back from the gym where I clocked up a, an incredible 20 minutes of exercise over about a 30 minute period, um, which is actually pretty standard duration for, for my gym sessions. And uh, when I was there, it was quite a tough session. First big one back since last week's uh, frog gram round. Uh, in fact, I spent the whole day today looking at my watch thinking, oh, this time last week I was doing X, Y, Z. I was up this hill or I was in this lake. Um, and it's now six o'clock in the evening. Uh, we start at 5 a.m. that day and we finished at 9.30. So I've still got another couple of hours to go of uh, reminiscing of this time last week. I was doing whatever. Um, but when I was in the gym, I, the, this 20 minute session that I did earlier, as I said, that's, that's a bit more standard for the duration that I normally train at. But of course, when you drop the duration, it's normally that you then increase the intensity and that's exactly what I did today. So it took about 25 minutes to do this particular session. It was just two minutes on the air, the, um, uh, air bike, whatever it's called, uh, the assault bike, horrible, horrible um, invention, whoever invented that. <laughs> uh, then two minutes on the rower and five times around that little circuit. Um, now I had this idea of going to do five rounds right from the start. And after the second round, I was thinking to myself, my God, this is awful. It's taken about 30 seconds to transition from one to the other. It's getting harder and harder. I was thinking, I, I'm just not going to get through to the end of this. Um, I thought, it doesn't matter, I'll just do three rounds. Uh, and I caught myself thinking that and I realised that actually this is one of the major things that I get from going to the gym and doing this kind of session. It's not just the fitness gains. Right now I'm not training for anything in particular, I'm just doing it essentially for the slightly weird love of uh, putting my through that kind of discomfort. But actually the thing that I get most out of that type of session is knowing that I can push myself beyond the point where I just want to quit. I don't think anybody ever doesn't get those voices coming into their head saying, look, you don't have to do this, so you can back off now, you've done enough, it doesn't matter, you're not training for anything, just have some fun, you've got this to do later on, don't really destroy yourself for the rest of the day. Um, certainly there's some of the things that go through my mind when I get to that point. And, and in some ways it's trying to get to that point, that's the point of going to the gym and doing that kind of session. Because when I ask myself those kind of questions, am I gonna quit or am I gonna continue? It's being able to reach deep down and continue that is what I get. That's what allows me to grow. It's what, um, it, it's what I can then draw on those experiences in, in other areas of my life, not just in sport, not just in training, not just in competitions, but in all sorts of different disciplines as well with a business, family, uh, just day-to-day -day stuff where I feel like I've just had enough knowing that there's always another level that I can get down to. I think that's a big thing that we all have the opportunity to take away from exercise. You don't have to be smashing it out on the assault bike and concept too to get these sorts of benefits. Anytime you go beyond, anytime you go, um, you overcome yourself, that's where you can start to build up this bank of evidence that you have another level, that you do have the resourcefulness to dig deep and push beyond what you might have previously perceived as being your limits.